Hi, I'm Cindy Stewart, your Hillsborough County Clerk of the Court and Comptroller. My office is now recognized as a top workplace. This means we have been honored with numerous regional and national awards, including the prestigious women-led gold badge from the top workplaces organization, as well as the USA Today designation of top workplace in the national category. It's not just an accolade. The award reflects our employee satisfaction and commitment to our mission. Employees made this achievement possible, contributing to a positive and inclusive workplace environment. Thanks to our extraordinary team who's built a culture of excellence. I am proud to lead this team. The state of the clerk is good. My priority is to give every homeowner in Hillsborough County a free tool to help alert them quickly should the crime happen to them. During fiscal year 2020, the clerk's office committed to a culture of innovation, offering all Hillsborough County homeowners a free service, our Property Fraud Alert Program. Property and mortgage fraud is the fastest growing white collar crime in the U.S., according to the FBI. Our office is here to help anyone who is purchasing, refinancing, downsizing, or making any real estate transaction. This free property fraud alert program notifies a homeowner within 48 hours after a document like a mortgage or a deed is recorded using their name or business name. The clerk's office handles 6,700 domestic violence injunctions every year, and we do so with care and compassion. Part of our work at the clerk's office involves finding new ways to remove barriers for survivors. Our online domestic violence filing service has always been available at the downtown Tampa and Plant City courthouses and at the Spring of Tampa Bay. Survivors can also sign up for a text message that will alert them when a judge makes a decision. For domestic violence survivors, the clerk's office and our partners, time matters, seconds matter. Another important innovation supporting domestic violence survivors raised more than $45,000 for our local shelter, the Spring of Tampa Bay. The clerk's office added a new option to our juror summons, which had never been done before in Hillsborough County. $15 a day adds up quickly. Now generous jurors can help the community by donating their daily compensation to Voices for Children of Tampa Bay, a guardian ad litem nonprofit. If you need a new passport, you can visit us on weekdays between 8 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. But for those who need more flexibility, we host Passport Saturdays. In fiscal year 23, our office processed 575 passport applications during Passport Saturdays, which we hold quarterly. And in November of 2023, we started offering passport events in the evening as well. Equity, transparency, and independence drive our office, whether it's serving the function of the court, providing important records, or being stewards of county finances. Over the past fiscal year, our team has focused on four strategic priorities to enhance the services we provide. Customer experience, people in training, process review and innovation, and community engagement. Our commitment to public service means we meet people where they are, like at community events where we educate the public about our 24-7 services. Town hall meetings hosted by Hillsborough County Commissioner Gwen Myers were a pivotal platform for spreading awareness. Our dedicated clerk staff attended seven town hall meetings across the county. Clerk staff generously volunteered at 12 local events. Hands-on volunteers helped paint houses, cleaned up local parks, extended care at animal shelters, and stuffed an impressive 30,000 backpacks with student school supplies. Here we go, here we go, here we go! The clerk's office proudly joins many vibrant local parades to educate and engage our community, reinforcing our commitment to serving their needs and building strong, lasting relationships. We believe in making our services more accessible to the public. And one of the ways we achieve this is by hosting special wedding events. Hi, Cindy Stewart. On Valentine's Day, Clerk Cindy Stewart presided over the unions of 32 couples. Pronounce you joined in matrimony. Congratulations to each one of you. You may now kiss your bride. All of whom exchange vows in the picturesque setting of Joe Chalura Courthouse Square. Prior to the Tampa Pride Diversity Parade, the clerk's office held a pre-parade wedding ceremony. 
and we also invited Star Wars fans to get married on May the 4th. These extraordinary moments underscore our dedication to going the extra mile for our constituents. We are happy to help you find a job in government. Our office took the initiative to launch the first ever government career fair, hosting every local government agency. More than 200 attendees had the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with recruiters, taking that first crucial step toward their government careers. The transition from high school to the working world can be challenging. The clerk's office continued its corporate work study program through Cristo Rey Tampa Salesian High School. The clerk's office also provided support to 600 high school seniors taking 12 field trips through the Future Career Academy. We also welcomed 32 interns who worked side by side with our staff, and we hired some of them full time. Our office made professional development a priority this year. Keynote speakers from across the U.S. provided specialized training for our leaders. Now all employees can access LinkedIn Learning, an award-winning industry leader in online training, offering thousands of digital courses. Attorney General Ashley Moody recognized the clerk's office as the largest organization statewide to join her 100% club after our employees completed its human trafficking awareness course. We also organized an informative panel featuring survivors, a judge, and law enforcement to reach even more employees about how to spot the signs of human trafficking. We created an online training module. These are the kind of warning signs that um, my staff now has the ability to recognize and, and report if necessary. Customer experience is important to us. Clerk services are now more available to non-English speaking community members, particularly the more than 45,000 Hispanic customers who request support. Our bilingual pay incentive policy recognizes and compensates approximately 50 bilingual employees who provide translation and interpretation services. Thank you for serving overseas. I know that that wasn't easy work. The clerk's office also participates in Veterans Outreach Court, another way to say thank you for serving our country. Working with our partners at the 13th Judicial Circuit Court, we bring court services to the James A. Haley Veterans Hospital. Veterans resolve fines, legal fees, and other outstanding legal issues in one hearing. Thousands of Floridians live with the obstacle of suspended driver's licenses because of unpaid traffic tickets, fines, and court obligations. On the Road Again helps community members gain their independence by saving money and getting their driver's license reinstated on site. During the last event, over $14,000 in court costs were waived, 528 cases were removed from collections, and 73 cases were dismissed completely. Recognizing the complexities of the court system, we continuously work to alleviate the challenges people face in navigating it. We remain dedicated to sharing our innovative work in the coming year and challenge ourselves to build on these achievements. In addition to being a top workplace, we were honored in the Best Practices Program by the Florida Clerks and Comptrollers, awarded certificates of excellence in every category. We track our progress diligently to ensure continuous improvement. You can find detailed information regarding each department's accomplishments in our latest annual report online. You can also sign up for our email newsletter or visit our careers page at hillsclerk.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at Hills Clerk. Thank you for letting us serve you in 2023. We look forward to an even better 2024.